Hey guys, so today's video is a really, really exciting one for me. Porter is very, very excited about this video. So as you guys know, I've been talking about it on Snapchat and on Instagram and mainly on Twitter, but me and ColourPop have teamed up again to come out with a new little collection and I am so excited about this one. I've been excited about all of them. The collection includes three ultra satin lippies and an eyeliner. I'm gonna go into complete detail. I'm gonna talk about the names. I'm gonna talk about the colors. I'm gonna swatch them. I have lip swatches for you. The whole nine yards. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with Lumiere, Aquarius, Taurus, um, my Where the Light Is, Where the Night Is, and Lumiere 2. Those are my collabs that I've done with ColourPop in the past. And I'm so grateful for the experiences. I'm so grateful that ColourPop continues to support me and to just work with me because they are an amazing company to work with. I really love them. So affordable and so, so good. So when they approached me to collab again, I was through the roof beyond excited because they asked me to collab on products that I think are are my favorite by ColourPop by far. The Ultra Satin Lips have to be my favorite formula ColourPop has ever come out with. It's their newer formula. They just keep getting better and better and the Ultra Satin Lips are definitely hands down my favorite, you guys know. And I rave about ColourPop eyeliners. Like, I rave about them. I love them so much. So when they asked me to create an eyeliner, I was so excited. Actually, fun fact, it was originally supposed to be three satin lips and two eyeliners, but when I got the second eyeliner in the mail and I played around with it, it was a cobalt blue. It was a beautiful cobalt blue, and I was most excited for it, but the more I played around with it, it just wasn't as pigmented on my waterline. It didn't live up to ColourPop eyeliner standards, so we exited out. I was like, I'm not gonna release that. It's not as good, so we canceled that. So we just kept one eyeliner and three ultra satin lips, and I am so excited to share it with you today. today Today is Monday when you're watching this or when I upload this video and this launches tomorrow, July 12th. So if you are not watching this when I upload it, maybe they have already launched, but July 12th, which is tomorrow. The best part is ColourPop is now doing international shipping, which is huge because every time I collab with ColourPop, the number one question is, when are they gonna ship internationally? I can't get your products, I'm in France. I can't get your products, I'm in London. Like. I get so many questions asking about international shipping and finally, finally, ColourPop is shipping internationally and they are launching international shipping on the same day. So starting tomorrow, you can get any, not just my stuff, but any ColourPop item shipped to you if you live outside of the United States, which is so Amazing. I, I think I'm most excited about that because I know it's been so requested and so many of you are like I wish I could get ColourPop, but now you totally can. You can get ColourPop starting tomorrow. I'm not a hundred percent sure what time they launch tomorrow. Once um, the page goes up and once it's live, I will link it in this video. So just come back tomorrow and it'll be linked down below. They don't like to discuss times so that the website doesn't crash or anything. So I have no idea at what time it launches. Okay, so now that I addressed the best part which was international shipping let me go ahead and get into the colors so I'm gonna start with what you guys are probably most excited for and it is the ultra satin lips just in case you guys don't know the satin lips are kind of like a liquid lipstick I'm wearing one of the colors right now only I mixed it with a different lip liner I will get into that in a little bit but the satin lips are are like a liquid lipstick and a regular lipstick hybrid. They're not as drying as their liquid lipstick formula, but they last a lot longer than their lippy stick formula, if that makes any sense. I was wearing one of the shades yesterday all day. Like literally I put it on at 10 o'clock in the morning and I took it off at nighttime before dinner. Like I was wearing it all day. Okay, so let me get my little wipe ready to swatch these bad boys. Okay, so this is the first color, and it is the lightest color, and this one is called Alyssa. I named this one Alyssa after my goddaughter. I have a rule that I do not like to name any, like, collaborations after family members because then other family members kind of get upset if you don't, you know, I don't know. But I broke that rule for Alyssa because she's, like, one of my favorite humans ever. One of the sweetest, smartest, most amazing little girls, and I love her so much. So I decided to name this one after her. If you don't know a goddaughter, it's kind of like a Catholic thing, but she is my cousin's daughter. So she's, like, my little cousin. She's almost nine years old, and she rocks. So... Name this one Alyssa. Anyway, this is a really, really pretty dusty pink. It kind of has a neutral undertone, but to me, it leans, or on my lips, it leans a little, it has like a hint 
of mauve in there. Such a pretty dusty color. I had a sneak peek of this color a few weeks ago, but I ended up changing the color a little bit. I talked about this on Snapchat, but I ended up tweaking the color a little bit because originally this color had a little bit too much white in it and I was afraid it was gonna wash some people out. So I made the color a little bit darker and now I freaking love it. I'm so glad I did. This is the perfect everyday color and what I love is that you can do kind of like a bold smoky eye and pair it with this lip or you can just go bare eyes and pair it with this lip and it always looks good. It's not too light but it's not too dark. It's so wearable. I'm gonna show you a swatch of Alyssa on the back of my hand. A huge swatch. <laughs> just so you guys can see the color because even though I know lip swatches are more helpful, I still... <laughs> Too much. I still want you to see what it looks like swatched on the back of my hand. So it has a little bit of shine at first, but throughout the day it gets a little bit less shiny, but the color stays there. This next color is definitely my favorite out of the three. I just, I love this one so much. This one is kind of like a standard pink, but not like a Barbie pink. It has kind of like a little bit of a rose tint to it. So stunning on so many different skin tones. And I decided to name this one November, which for those of you who don't know, I was married on November 22nd. That's my anniversary. So that is why I named it November. And this is another color that you can definitely wear every day. It's just a little bit more bold than Alyssa. I love this on medium skin tones. Like it's so beautiful. Emilia, my best friend, has a deeper skin tone than me. And this looks stunning on her. At least I think so. I'm actually thinking of doing a whole video with Emilia where she's sitting right next to me and we are lip swatching all of my collabs just so that you can see how they look on my skin tone and how they look on her skin tone. So definitely let me know if that's something you're interested in. Just comment below, be like, yes, do the lip swatch video with Emilia. We want to see it. And I will definitely do that for you guys. This is November swatch on the back of my hand. It's like a rosy pink, but there's some brightness to this. Like when I put it on the lips, I'm just like, ah, I feel fresh. And I just love this one. It's definitely my favorite. I actually brought out Lumiere 2 just to swatch it next to November because I've gotten a lot of questions to compare these two. They are very different though, even though they kind of look similar in the tubes. This is an ultra matte lip. It's a completely different formula. Actually, I'm also going to swatch the original Lumiere next to them as well. Okay, so here at the bottom we have the original Lumiere. Here is Lumiere 2 and then here is November. So you can see the Lumieres are definitely purples or mauves. This one is a pink. Okay, and then the last ultra satin lip is definitely the most unique. This one is a brown, but it is a very cool tone brown. When I last collabed with ColourPop and I came out with Taurus, which is a matte lippy stick. It was a very, very, very warm brown. And then this time around, I knew that I wanted to do another brown, but I wanted it like at the opposite end of the spectrum. And I decided to name this one Point Zero, which is a very weird name, I know. But you guys know I have an obsession with Paris, which is why I named my first collab Lumiere. I've always wanted to go. I've never gone there, but I've always wanted to go. But you know, I'm terrified to get on a plane for that many hours. And there is something in Paris called Point Zero, which it's on the floor, and I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe it's in front of the Notre Dame. And it is the place where all distances are measured in Paris. So it is literally the center of Paris. A lot of people go and stand on Point Zero and make wishes and stuff like that. So I thought it was a beautiful, like it's a beautiful thing if you Google Point Zero, it's so cool. This color reminded me for some reason of Point Zero. What? I don't know why, but I decided to name it Point Zero. This is actually the lip color I'm wearing on my lips right now, but I mixed it with, not mixed it, but I applied my Taurus lippy pencil underneath, like my Taurus lip liner. I filled in my entire lips with the lip liner and then I went over it with this. So it creates a more neutral brown, which I love wearing it on its own. It's my favorite way to wear it. But paired with Taurus lip liner, I think it is really cool. So that is the combination on my lips right now. Oh, let me swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see. So this is point zero, and this color looks different on everyone, but I think it looks cool on everyone too. It's definitely a color for someone who wants to wear something a little bit more bold because it's not exactly an everyday color, or it totally can be. I would totally wear this every day. But for most people, it's definitely more of a bolder lip. Okay, so we are almost done. Now we are going to talk about these bad boys. I am obsessed. You guys know I've been obsessed, been obsessed with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners, the pencils. These are my favorite eyeliners except the black and the brown 
For black and brown, I love my NYX Trois Jolie eyeliners, you guys know. That brown is kind of like a neutral, dark brown. This is completely different. So I wanted to come out with a color that was brown, you know, a color that a lot of people would wear, but I wanted it to be very warm. I wanted a super warm brown because they look so pretty up against green eyes, hazel eyes, blue eyes, even brown eyes. I decided to name this color Mr. Bing. And when I said it on Snapchat, a lot of you guys thought I was saying Mr. Big, like from Sex and the City, which I can see where you get that confusion because Mr. Bing sounds like Mr. Big, but it, I actually named this after Chandler from Friends. Friends is my all-time favorite comedy, like my all-time favorite show hands down. And I'm surprised I didn't name a product after the show like sooner. But Chandler is my favorite character in Friends and I wanted to name it like something to do with Chandler but not like Chandler Bing. So I named it Mr. Bing. And it was so funny the way that this name came to me. I was actually watching an episode of Friends. It's in season six and I believe it's called the one with Rachel's sister. And it's the episode where Monica gets sick but she's acting like she's not sick. And whatever, there's a part where she's in the room and she's like calling Dr. Bing, Dr. Bing to the bed. It just came to me, I was like, I want a name my eyeliner after that. But I didn't want to name it Dr. Bing because unless you are like a diehard fan and you know what episode I'm talking about, Dr. Bing doesn't make any sense because he's not a doctor, but he is a mister. So I decided to go with Mr. Bing. What a long story for this, but whatever. And ColourPop, whenever they come out with an eyeliner or like a cream gel liner, they always make the matching pot. So you have your um, gel eyeliner in pot form as well. These are not my absolute favorites. They are very, very matte, but they can be a little drying. You have to be careful with that. I have it on my eyes today. I used this as my winged liner. I've been using this for weeks now and I haven't had any problems with them, but I do have gel pot eyeliners that I do like more. As you guys know, I've reviewed these in the past, but the pencil liners like cannot be beat in my opinion. I will say though, keep in mind, if you are thinking of purchasing these, this is a very warm brown. It's like a red brown and I don't want that to scare anybody when they think they're just buying like a plain old brown eyeliner. No, this is not a plain old brown eyeliner. This is a special brown eyeliner. Just for shits and giggles, I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. Um, you guys saw it on my waterline and on my eyeball already, but just so you can have a hand swatch. As you can see, a delicious warm brown. And I love it. It's beautiful. I can't finish this video off without saying thank you about a million times. I know this can get repetitive because I do this at the end of every like collab launch video that I film, but I wouldn't be doing any of this without you guys. So why would I not say thank you? I love you and thank you so, so, so much. Everybody has people that they don't like. Everybody has people that don't like them. Every YouTuber here on YouTube has, has people who don't like them. It's a normal thing. You're not gonna love everybody. That's a normal thing. It's just human nature. Thank you so much for those of you who have been supporting me since day one. You guys have changed my life. I've said that a hundred times before. I don't wanna get emotional in this video because I will. But whenever I have something wrong with me or whenever I feel like crap or I have too much anxiety or something, I turn to Twitter. Usually that's where I go and I'll tweet that I'm feeling pretty shitty and the positivity. All your tweets, you guys take me out of my funk. You guys make me feel better. Thank you for being here, just being a subscriber and watching. It means the world to me. If there's something I want is for you guys to know how grateful I am and how grateful I feel and I don't take anything for granted. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and I hope, I hope you enjoy this collection. And yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.